so looking at this guy you know this is our x this is our y and this is our z right so it tells us on our x direction we travel zero on our y direction we travel zero so it's just going to be z so let's pick this point as our point of origin so on our x direction remember this is our x direction this is our z direction and this is our y direction so on our x direction it tells us it's traveling zero on our y direction it says zero so we start our point of origin then on our z direction it tells us it traveled one upward so we know this is our arrowhead and this is the direction to which it traveled remember on our x direction zero so we don't move on our y direction zero we don't move but our z direction it goes this way for a full length one so next question we have one by two two so remember when we were coming into plane we are always multiplying by two just to cancel out um just to um arrive at these cancel out our halves so now we want to cancel out back we do that by multiplying by half which is equals to opening the bracket so we have half and we have negative one and we have a positive one so remember when we came from this guy to this guy we used to multiply by two but now we are going from this guy to this guy so we are multiplying by half so this is what we are going to use in taking our reading this guy so let's pick our point of origin again okay so another thing i need you guys to pay attention to when you're picking your point of origin so this is our x y z now we are being told that our y is a negative direction which means whatever we are doing i'm coming if this is our y if this is our x and this is our z so it means whatever we are doing right on our y direction we are going the other way we are going this direction so i wouldn't want you to pick this imagine i pick this place at my point of origin whenever we are traveling on our y direction we have to go like this which is outside our lattice of our unit cell so it's just best that i pick my origin at this point right so since i'm picking my origin at this point since i'm picking my origin at this point let me raise this also yeah so since this is our point of origin on our x direction since we are traveling half we go half to the center we stop here then on our y direction we are being told we are going for a full length so remember we are going negative y so we go this direction stop at our y then on our z direction they say we are going upwards full length so we go hop on our z direction positive z so this is our last point then what do we do we draw a line from we draw a line from our point of origin to the stop point so sorry my line might not be straight i'm trying as best as possible to make it look straight yeah so that's our reading for this question so let's go to the next guy we have sorry this is one this is one it's three one one right so what do we do we know this is our x axis y axis and z axis so our goal now is to cancel out our three so we know we have to multiply by one over three not one over two right then we click on our equals to sign and we say 1 over 3 times 3, we have a 1, we have a 1 over 3, and we have a 1 over 3, then put our direction sign. Okay, so let's travel. Now for this one, we can put our point of origin at this point. Why? Because we have no negative sign, so everybody's looking all good. So we are told we go, sorry, x, y z sorry i'm always forgetting to draw my planes because i think i'm familiar with all of them y and x so we have been told we have to travel one towards our x direction so we stop here 
then we are to travel one toward the length of our y direction so this is our y we are going positive y so we go one toward y direction so i think this is one over three of my y direction yeah we're not going half so if i was going half i think i would stop somewhere here but no we're not going half we're going one toward so dividing the length into three places then we are going one third on z axis so one third of our z axis is going to be somewhere this sorry drawing this direction so i should stop here sorry so i should stop somewhere here so this is our point then picking up the ruler now i have to draw out our plane which is this So arrowhead. This is the reading for this. Now let me raise this our uh, direction line so we can see. Yeah, we raising all of this. That's it. One third. One on x direction, one third on y direction, and one third on z direction. So for this guy also we have positive signs. So we are free and good to choose this as our point of origin. So remember, this is our X, this is our Y, and this is our Z. So if this is our Z plane, and this is our Y plane, and this is our X direction. Sorry, I keep saying plane, but you should understand I mean direction. So we don't need to expand any bracket here. We don't need to expand any bracket. We are not multiplying to by anything. So we have our figures the way they are meant to be. So in our X plane, we go forward for one. We stop here. Says on our di y direction, we go one also, so we go y this direction, we're good. Then our, on our z direction, we go upwards, so we know this is where we're stopping. Okay, so I pick up a ruler and I try to draw it out, so it's gonna be this in my arrowhead. So this is our one 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 plane right then next in line we go from point of origin so we have zero one three here we have to convert so i'm multiplying all through by one over three once again so this is going to be zero this is going to be one third and this is going to be one right so from our x axis x y and z so this is our x this is our z and this is our y so on our x axis no movement so we, we keep it there on our point of origin we stay on our point of origin then on our y axis is positive so we go one third i think this is enough for my one third then on our z plane we go totally to the top so this is here at this point it's here at this point so we pick up the ruler once again we pick up the ruler then connect the dots so here is our plane let me raise this so we can understand our plane well that's our plane or that's so here is our direction i mean not plane this is the direction and let's go for the 101 also so now remember i said pay attention to the negative sign so we have x y and the z so we know our x direction is negative if i pick this place as our point of origin i want to go in our x direction we we'll have to draw outside right so it is smart to come forward whatever axis we're choosing will come in forward then moving backwards so i'll be raising this guy this is my point of origin so i go x y and the z so now i have to go on my x direction negative so full plane i stop here on my y direction i'm going positive but zero so i stay at that point zero i'm not moving then on my way on my z direction positive one so that's a full length i go upwards upwards and i stop here so that means my plane is going to be looking my direction vector it's gonna be looking this way so here is my vector 
let me erase all of this that's that for that guy okay so our y is negative right which means we are going this direction so if i choose this place for my x right in which i go backwards i have to go this direction this direction which this place doesn't work it has proven that so this place let's see if i go this way go this way it makes sense i'm inside my cubic um, my unit cell so for my z i'm going upwards which means it's literally like this which makes sense so i know this point is best for my point of origin so let's travel now negative x here negative y here and our positive z goes here so let's draw out our plane so this is it for our plane 101 so for the next one I know my x I can put my x anywhere I can either choose this or this for the x um direction so i can come forward on any of these two lanes so let's check for our y i have a negative y which means i'm going backwards so this guy is best because i could go backwards if i go backwards in this place that's awful so i erase this guy i know this origin is best so for my z i'm going downwards which means i'll be going outside then what does that prove it means this is the best point to be my point of origin so now let's do it. We have our x, positive x direction. Then we have our y, negative y direction. And we have our z, which is a negative z direction. So when I stop here, pick our ruler, then let's draw it from our point of origin. For this guy, I have x y z y z and x so let's check again our x is negative which means it has to be in front one of these two fronts right then our y is positive which means i have to travel this direction then that proves to me that this guy is not useful this origin is not useful i just erased it sorry then for our z i'm going negative direction means i'm going down from here so that proves to me that the best point of origin is hop here so now let's draw it out so my x i'm going negative for my y i'm going positive then for my z i'm going negative which leads me to this point so let's draw yeah so this is it so let's go to question number four sorry here is this question number four we know our x nothing y something z something so y z and the x so if i choose this place as my point of origin it's okay because i'm going positive y and positive z so this is my positive y and this is my positive z i'm just gonna erase that now so on x direction no movement so we stay there at the origin on our y direction we move on our z direction we move so which means this is our vector let me erase this so it doesn't confuse you then for our one on one this is x y and z so it means on our well i can choose this for my origin i'm going all positive direction x y and z so on our hex direction i'm coming forward on our y direction sorry it's going to be a zigzag on our hex direction i'm coming forward on our y direction no movement so i stay there then on our z direction i'm going upwards so this is our vector then last i know this is the best place because that's why I can travel positive on all directions. So this is my X, this is my Y, and this is my Z. So on my X direction, I come forward. On my Y direction, I go, therefore, our Z, zero. So this is our vector.
let me erase this so you know the difference between the vector line and our trace line yeah so thank you very much guys make sure you subscribe and um next in my video will be plain bye